two. You bend from your hips, slide your hands down until you reach the top of your knees, and then let your arms hang directly under your shoulders. Your upper arms are against your chest. Weight's going to be over the arches of your feet. And then as you swing back, you want to keep your upper arms connected to your chest. Yeah, right. So the elbows, the distance the elbows are apart should be, should remain the same. And I, again, that... Okay, so that's a good question. I don't want my right elbow against my rib cage, but I want my upper arm to be connected. So does that make sense right here? Yeah. Yep, yep. I don't want my elbow tucked against my chest. No, that would be too narrow. But yeah, you want to feel some, and here's why. You want your arms and your trunk, you see the center of my body is my power source. My arms and my, we call it connected, when, this, when, the, when my arms and the center of my body are moving together, then the club face is not going to have a lot of deviation. It's going to square up. The rate of rotation of the club will match the rate of rotation of the body, which is what you want. So in my estimation, you're, you're pretty far along here if we can just get you to swing slightly shorter. It doesn't have to be a lot shorter, just a little bit shorter. You'll be more consistent. You have good tempo. This elbow, you see the left elbow, this is a sign. See the lead, uh, the, that front elbow, how it, you want it to fold down, you don't want it to fold that way. So you sort of chicken winging a little bit, that's why. So your left upper arm should remain connected. Think of symmetry, okay? What does your right arm do on the back swing? Same thing it does, your left arm does on the forward swing. Yep. Right, so when you come through, your, this elbow folds down, just like on the backswing, the right elbow, right, you're sort of, right, and so this is sort of like if I put a pro, the shaft of the club, when it comes through, should exit on a parallel with the shaft plane. There's this, this line. So yours is not, we would call this a release when the club rotates, when the, Right, right. So, uh, you're very close. I'll just give you an example here so you can see what it's supposed to look like. All right, so he's got his right elbow. The club goes back on the shaft plane, pretty much parallel at the top. If we pushed you back three or four frames, you'd be pretty close to what he looks like. Now, as he comes through, this is what I wanted to show you. The club drops back down, pretty close to where you're at. Now it's going the club shaft will exit underneath the left shoulder. And see how his elbow folds down? Well, yours elbow doesn't fold down. So that we would call that a block. Goes to the right. All right. So that's a good little exercise, you know, just go right elbow, left elbow. All right, perfect.